Kills Corner back again. That's right, back again. We're going to talk about Tyson Fury, Dante Wilder 2. It's official. But first, hit the like button. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave comments in the comment section. It's Kills Corner, baby. And now, like you say, let's get into it. It's official. February 22nd. Dante Wilder versus Tyson Fury 2 and uh, yeah tickets go on sale tomorrow 10 o'clock you can start getting your tickets I don't feel Tyson Fury is going to honor the date but it's official now why I don't have a particular reason why I just think he's doing too much, and I just don't think he's going to make the date. But I could be wrong. Like I said, I've been wrong a couple of three times. So, yeah. hey, it is what it is. But let's talk about the timeline to this fight. Because this is a big fight. And for 2019, start off the year in February with this fight would be very good. So December 2018... Tyson uh, Fury and Wilder scrapped to an entertaining draw in the Staples Center at a, in L.A. Um, Tyson Fury down twice in the fight. Second time, really down. I mean, he just barely made the count. Uh, people dispute that, but he got up. And... It called it a draw. I was happy with the draw. I thought Dante Wilder won some rounds that people didn't give him credit for. Okay? So then after that, they get in the ring. Tyson Fury and, and Wilder. And Tyson Fury is talking about Dante Wilder. We're the two best heavyweights in this uh, division. Uh, Anthony Joshua's a bollocks. And we should just do it again. And they agreed to do it again. On their own. And the rematch is agreed for May 18th in New York. But, of course, about nine days later, Sneaky Bob Aram gets in Fury's ear. And that fights out the window. Tyson Fury signs with top rank and gets two fights in Vegas. So Dante Wilder plows on with his own plan, still honors the May 18th date, puts Dominic Brazil in, his, in Tyson Fury's place at the Barclays Center and straight up decapitates him. And then Tyson Fury goes to Vegas June 2019 beats Tom Schwartz in Las Vegas. Then fights again in September against Joey Gamash trained Otto Wallen. And Wallen opens up a cut over Tyson Fury's eye that you could fit your fist into. Uh, and Ben Davison is credited for in the fight calming Fury down keeping him calm in the corner so he can concentrate on beating Wallen and he ends up beating Wallen. And Wilder confirms his rematch for Luis Ortiz in November. Then November, Wilder stops. Let me, let me say that again. Wilder stops Ortiz, stops him in his tracks. Seventh round this time. And he's out. And in December, Wilder and Fury set for Las Vegas February 22nd. And we circle back now. Here we are to this February 22nd uh, match between Wilder and Fury. Now, you know, Tyson Fury's always bragging about how he jumped in the fray with Wilder and... 
you know, he uh, came out of retirement and he was not even really training and he hopped in there with Wilder and hey, guess what? Wilder was young of age in, in that boxing and he was learning on the job, you know, so he calling Wilder a basketball player and this and that and guess what, Fury? You got dropped twice by a basketball player then. Almost decapitated by a basketball player then. So, what does that say about you? Now, Wilder's not the one that gets on here on, on channels and interviews and, just, and talks crap, okay? Sure, he says he's going to stop Fury this time. and But he doesn't get on there and talk all kinds of, call all kinds of names and bollocks and you know, pussy, and this and that. And I, I don't hear Wilder saying shit like that. I hear Tyson Fury talking like that. Why? Because he's unsure, my friend. Why'd he get rid of his trainer? Gets rid of his trainer that he went to war with a few times, who helped him in the corner with Wallen, and gets rid of his trainer. Now he's with Sugar Hill Stewart, if that's even his name, who's probably just as young in boxing as Ben Davidson. They say he's a young trainer. Okay, not young of age so much, but young of experience. And this guy, Stewart, is young of experience too. So why train why change your trainers? Because you don't believe in your system. You don't believe in your system and I and I stand by that. Okay? And I believe Wilder is gonna decapitate you this time without a doubt. Without a doubt. Yeah. So to all you Fury fans out there, you're going to come at me because of what I said here. Come on. Just like you did before. It's my opinion and it's how I feel. And you can talk about anything you want to talk about, but guess what? See me. That's what I say. See me. And we'll see what's up. Hey, man. It's Kill's Corner, baby. Word. Let me tell you something. Wilder is a man possessed. Any man that has the confidence and believes in himself like Wilder does, it's a hard man to be. A hard man to be. He believes in himself. Fury, on the other hand, his actions show different. His actions show he doesn't believe. He talks a good game, though. And all you people fall for it. But not Kill's Corner. Word. Now, hands up. Chin down. <laughs> Keep punching. <sighs> Bronze Bomber, I think you'll get it done, brother. It'll shut Fury's mouth for good. And now, I'm out.